What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect to Andromeda. We are here on Eos with our big beautiful Tempest spaceship. And um, we're trying to, uh, to see if we can make this an inhabitable place. Or at least make it a little bit better than it currently is. So right now we are tasked with the objective of finding a vehicle that we can use to move around while we're here on the surface. This analysis provides us with important research data pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. That I sounds amazing. A little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay, so we want to call down a forward station, sounds good. We're going to be using a giant, they say it was a 6x6 six six with jumping abilities and all kinds of cool stuff, that sounds awesome. Another thing I feel like we need to do that we haven't done yet, is we have six skill points. So let's figure out something to do here. So we've got our personal skills as well as our squad skills. That's crazy that we can upgrade our squad. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I think I'd rather focus on us, especially towards the front of the game, though. Ooh, a grenade. I definitely want a grenade. Okay. So on the grenade. Sounds good. We're going to go ahead and get the, the first step of that. Concussive shot fires a target seeking high impact round that knocks down unarmored, unshielded, normal sized enemies and detonates combo primers. We don't even have those unlocked yet. We've got barricades. Deploy a temporary energy barricade that will boost shield regeneration for everyone who takes cover behind it. Trip mines. And then training and all the different types of weapons. Combat fitness gives you more max health. And then more power damage. How do these... 2% max health doesn't seem like very much. Then 2% max shields. 1%... Plus 1 weapon loadout size. Plus 25% weapon weight capacity. Okay. This is going to be a good one we're going to want over time. So we're definitely going to... I say we start with those two. That looks good to me. And then let's see... We're going to go ahead and confirm that. We've got biotechs and tech. Lifts an unshielded, unarmored enemy helplessly into the air and primes the target for combo detonations. We've got pulls, throws, novas, high damage explosion around the user, shockwave. Wow. These all sound pretty insane. Tech. Got incinerate. What's incinerate do? Fires a plasma projectile that does bonus damage to armor, inflicts ongoing burning damages to unshielded forces. Cryo beams, energy drains, energy drain restores shields by sapping electromagnetic energy around a target. That sounds pretty good. So we're gonna grab that, and then I'm gonna say flamethrower. But these are all powers. We can't have all these powers at once. I think we're good. I'm gonna leave it like that. You only have three powers at a time. You might be able to change them up depending on what kind of situation you're going into. But for now, we're gonna focus on our main three. Okay, so forward stations are Activating deployed from orbit. Appropriate sites. Right stick to observe. Fast travel and places to change your loadout. Looks okay. like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access. So we could change our loadout of our different weapons and such. How do we unlock this, this Nomad container? I don't see that there's an option to unlock it. So loadout option. Maybe that gave us what we need. Let's go find out. Oh, we probably read the keypad in there. Read what the key code was. Oh, what? Okay, I could deal with that. That's sick. Are you kidding me? 
Look at this. This is like a Martian Batmobile. What? It's got. Oh, no way. It's got the going doors. No man should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Okay, check forward and reverse. Dude, all the wheels turn. Handles on a dime. This thing feels good. You can jump. We've got nitrous. It's right to toggle the mining computer. We can launch mining drones. We're out of zone though. Okay. Let's go investigating. Stop messing around with this thing. This is awesome, man. This is seriously incredible. Radiation level one. Radiation. I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Six wheel drive? How do you do that? Nice. Okay. Got it into six wheel drive. Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate. <laughs> Let's go. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. We have a safe condition in here, so let's go ahead and hop out and find out what we've got going on. Alien device. <laughs> I'm picking up initiative tech nearby. From What's happening here? Above us. There we go. I see it. Up on that piece with the scaffolding. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. Okay. Cool. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. So basically what we need to do is learn the language, I believe. Can we get up here? Whew. We made it. I think that's enough. Okay. So Sam was able to learn enough about the language just from that to be able to interact with this. Nice. Building connection. That's pretty smart. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. Wait! Whoa! Oh, hey there! Back off, or I will put you down! <laughs> Whoa! Easy. You've come this far. Just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through their channels. It's going to be all right. Trust me, okay? <laughs> we could have thrown her I off know, right there. I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Who are you? That's the real question. Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. She was right. Cool. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh crap. What is that thing? There are more of them. I know these things from Habitat 7. Later! Just take them out! Got him. Let's try our new grenade. Keep Ooh, that, that thing's one. pretty good. The observer, that's what we want to hit. Look at 
happened so far? Not bad. My first tangle with the Remnant was a lot messier. The Remnant? These monoliths, the Observer and Assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. <laughs> Ryder, you've been studying this Remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay. Well, at least we have an objective now. We know what we're doing. I hop back in our vehicle and head on out of here. We've got two more remnant monoliths to activate. Looks like we can go either right or left, so I say... I mean, I guess we could take a look at our map and see which one's closer. We're right here. Objectives are uh, quite a ways away, and we're kind of going the wrong direction, to be honest. So. Radiation levels increasing. Dude, this thing is so sick. Radiation levels within acceptable limits. It's not gonna be like that for long. Woo! -hoo! Wonder what kind of drops this Imagine thing can take. All the craziness on the Nexus to be the first settlers here. Got so much riding on here. And then, this time will be different. Right. This is our element. Dude, this is so sick, man. Oh, oh no. I didn't realize it was kind of open world like this. I don't know if I'd call it fully open world, but... We're gonna go six-wheel drive. That looks like With the boosters! Ah, oh, not gonna make that. I didn't think so, but I wanted to test it out. You know what I mean? You can kind of take it at your own pace. You can go where you want to go and do what you want to do. Back in the six-wheel drive here. We made it. One objective is right above us, I think. Yeah, okay. up there. I don't know the best way up there, though. I'm not seeing a road. These guys really don't like us here, though, that's for sure. Maybe there's one around this back way? We're gonna find out. Oh, yeah. Going into a cave. Look there. That spot is shelter, water, stable ground. It was initially overlooked due to heavy cat presence at the nearby remnant structure, but it would be an excellent outpost site. Cat and remnant. Seems you can't find one without the other. The site one folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Watch out! We made it. We've got remnant up here. It's time to go, baby. These ones don't seem hostile. Don't seem hostile as we shoot them. We don't have any power cells to be able to shoot it. You really gotta watch your shields in this game. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the cover system. There's no, like, 
crouch and uh, stand up button. It's all automatic. You just walk up to cover and it automatically does it. I don't know. I guess it's a COD player. This just kind of weirds me out a little bit. A lot of ammo. Pistol out. The pistols are pretty effective, though. I'll give them that. Ammo caches around here anywhere? Cause we're in trouble otherwise. Yeah. Right here. Okay, so we're gonna have to climb one of these things again, or are we just gonna be able I to interact with it right away? Remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to. Decryption impossible due to missing glyph information. Scan nearby surroundings for glyphs. We need more of those symbols. So I see one on each of these structures. Probably need to get multiple. How do we get up there though? That's the question. The last one had like a nice little scaffolding unit next to it and made it easy to get up there. I don't know how we're gonna do it. I'll this need time. to use the interface that controls oh. this. There's a console right here. What does this do? Oh okay. Hey, I'm getting better at this. That's our answer. It's all one big puzzle. An unknown remnant device over here? Did we do anything with it? No. It looks like there could be something over on this. This thing, but I don't know if we'd be able to get up there. Maybe we already did enough. Who knows? Impossible. You'll need to scan for the missing glyphs, Pathfinder. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. Found another thing. This might help us out. Hey, I'm getting better at this. Get up there. Oh, there it is, right there. Nice. Should be enough glyphs. Oh, okay. So he'll let us know when he's got enough. All right, so we've got to decrypt the remnant code by assigning glyphs to the grid. No row, column, or highlighted shape can include repeats of the same glyph. Okay, well we can do that. It looks, no row, column. So how do you, how do you move things around? It looks like it's good, does it not? No, there are no repeats in row. Interface failed, Pathfinder. Defense systems engaging. Okay, well that, that pissed them off. I don't see any repeats in there, though. I'm so confused. Oh, you've got to put glyphs in. Okay, I thought we had to move the red ones around. I didn't realize we had to put glyphs in. All right, I got you. I got you. So that's the one we're going to want there. Well, I know which one we want here. We want that one there. And that one there. Okay, this is easy enough. This is really weird, but it's easy enough. Okay, so we're going to want the E looking thing here. And then the last one we don't have in this spot. And then this one needs an E looking thing, which we'll put here. And then boom. Got it. Interface successful, Pathfinder. That's kind of fun. I like that. Space Sudoku, bro. That did. Whatever that did. I see pathways lighting up all over. 
The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. I'll do my best. Can't drop shit. Seriously? Cats are coming in. Can't catch a break. Let's go get our our truck. Cat, watch out. I'm just gonna get the heck out of here. We don't even need that. We don't need to take that fight, baby. Although it does give you XP, which I do like getting XP. So sometimes we will take fights, even though we don't have to. And there, yeah, it takes over. What? Soften the landing a little we bit. We promised a prefab homestead exactly this long after exiting Cryo. We'll get there, won't we, Ryder? What's up, guys? We're starting to figure this thing out. So is that what our, our dad was doing in there when he was holding his hand up in like the first episode? Was he uh, just trying to solve a Sudoku puzzle? Is it Sudoku or Sudoku? I think I always call it Sudoku, but I don't know which one it actually is. So it looks like this next one's gonna be right here. It's got lots of enemies in it. That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Oh, we'll take him down, no worries. An anointed up there? Those guys are pretty mean. He's down. Get incoming. We need like a shotgun and a sniper rifle of sorts. Hostile shuttle incoming. A little bit long on the grenade toss, we'll learn. Put that guy down, nice. Are invis enough. Like we can just go invis and get around these guys. We can start using that more. And we get a, a bonus to damage. Let's go. This guy over here. See, like this situation with a sniper rifle, just start picking heads. Got him with the feet down, baby. You can learn to throw grenades better. What is going on here? I'm assuming we're not going to be able to get in there. We have more cat in the area. Level four, baby. Why send reinforcements? Do they know we're here? Got power it. generator. So we're gonna shut this thing down. It shuts down the force field. All right, we're in. Our third and final stop. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, guess it was. Still haven't told me who you are. I'm the Pathfinder. Are you now? 
You can call me Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. You roasted my Nexus my gun, bro? Shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <sighs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now, taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, we could use a Krogan like you, Drek. I'm flattered, but do you have any idea how many humans I've watched die? Your meat is spoiled. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. That dude is serious business. Okay, let's go uh, finish this last one. Looks like we're missing something. Definitely gonna need more of these things. So there's one there. Oh, looks like somebody's already been here and done it for us. We don't have to activate these things. Scan it from here? Nope, it's too far away. Detecting above normal radiation levels. Hopefully we can survive this for a short amount of time. Oh, we're in a safe Great. condition now. I think that's enough. Okay. Well. We know the dealio here, so we should be able to do this relatively easily. Oh, we don't have to do a, a code this time. You All right. Done. The monoliths are online and connected to something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. All right, guys. So we've got the three monoliths online. We took down some ket, and uh, now we're going to be meeting PV. Over in the middle of the lake as soon as we go get our uh, our little truck thing in the jig. So I'm gonna see you guys when we get there and I'll uh, catch y'all in the next episode.